<coughs> oh, wait, I gotta get my, uh... <laughs> Let's get my headphones out of my mic and putting it into the controller. Oh, my God. Anyway. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Walking Dead, and today is the final season. That was a complete fuck-up of an intro, but... Is anyone surprised at this point? Anyway. Here we are! The final season of The Walking Dead, man. This... It's been a long time coming, literally. I think it's been about a month? Over a month? When did this entire series start? Man, I can't even believe we're in the final season. What the hell is this? Check for choice data, import local safe. I'm gonna import my local safe. What the hell is... Check choice data, whatever. What is this? Collection... Oh! I didn't know this! That's epic! I did not know that! Oh! So you can get... What do you mean? I was playing the collection... Oh yeah, it's deleted right there. That's right, okay. Let's play episode 5 then. I wanna play episode 5. If we're successful. Okay. Please save my choices. That's kind of the intention of the importing your save, my last time I checked. Alright. Man. I did not know you actually, actually could choose from the collection or the walking dead new frontier. That makes sense, but I just didn't know it. Oh man, here we are. With the... Can I actually do... I actually like this, um... Choosing what happened in the past a little more than season three doesn't mean I hate it. I just I like this more. I like how it's more uh, pop up booky. Is that the word? Because it kind of reminds me of pop up book a little bit. This Carly and Doug. Press it to continue. Doug died. Yep, man. If not more. What the hell happened to Lily dies? What the fuck? What is up with her eyes? That that doesn't look right. Um. Okay, Clem did see that, didn't she? I don't remember. I don't think it went through her face. We left that bitch behind. Yes! Fuck you, Lily. You deserved it, alright? You're an asshole. You should have died then. God damn it. Don't make me cry, alright? I miss Lee every day. He was a badass. I'll well, always keep moving. I said this line. Well, there's four decisions in this moment, but whatever. <laughs> God damn it. Get away from cry the first goddamn two minutes of the game? What the hell? Okay, they just confirmed that. And yeah, I did steal the food. Shoot me. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, man! It's Lee. He was one of my, one of my favorites, if not my favorite character out of the, all the games. I met another group after that. All right, he was high after that, and I remember they did they didn't talk shit about season two or three. If I remember, like season one is, was the most used season. AJ, he made it. Yeah, but that's the whole point of season two was for AJ to be born. Yeah. <laughs> well, you you know Rebecca's name. You'd have given her. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's energy. The whole group. Now, I did not kill Kenny because I can never kill a boy. Literally, the only choice from season two that matters. Thank God I didn't hear the gunshot. Out of med. I forgave Kenny in this moment because he is my boy. We survived for so long together. Yep. Sake, sake, and here's what I mean by they retconned it. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. They skip the Wellington ending. But I was wrong again. Well, fucking why? Why did you skip that? That's the one of the few things you can't skip. I don't know. That, that, that bothers the hell out of me even now. I said my goodbyes. I still don't know how this actually impacts into the season. I think they just wanted something for season three. <laughs> it's like, you get one choice for season two, one choice for season three, and five choices for season one. Um, wait, five choices? Is that, is that what it was? What was the first one? Doug? Leaving Lily behind. Saying something to Clementine. Shooting him. Um. There's six choices in total that actually matter. There's four fucking games. Three games. Six matter in the end. I was actually pretty goddamn close with that five estimate. 
Damn. Alright. But here we go. Into season four. I actually, and I still hope this happens. I mean, 10 year anniversary coming up for this game. In two years, but it's coming up. Right? It counts. Uh, is take what the, you did with Telltale or Skybound, I guess. They can do this, right? Take what Skybound did. How see, this season plays out. And make a complete reimagining of season one. You have the Lee model. You have the Clementine model. You can just yeah, add the, the shirt, the, the hoodie, and just remake season one with these graphics and this gameplay. Yeah, it's not a point and click, but you can be more interactive. And think, like, think about walking around in the motor in. I don't know about collectibles. You can keep collectibles out if you want, but th that would be pretty cool. Speaking of collectibles, perfect fucking sec, wait, I will be actually going and completing every single one of them. Ah, uh, well, except one, but that's only decision-wise. Well, that's choice-wise, a really big choice in season, episode three. But I will get majority of it. What you doing there? 99.9 .9 of it. Pretend we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. Yeah, you can clear it till some fucking time passed. You're not even gonna... Explain what the hell happened in the past. I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. Someone's all grown up, I like a good ball. Oh, I've always called you goofball. It's time for you to stop. It's Alvin Jr. AJ still work? AJ still work. Are we still Alright, cool. We'll go with AJ. What's wrong? How's a great first impression of AJ? Hungry. Okay, do we have any food? Because this is what? How old's Clem now? 17? Here. Jesus fucking hell, it's been it. nine years. Or eight years. I don't wanna. Uh. It'll take your mind off your stomach. I'm gonna say, wait, is it eight or nine years now? I'll take about it. That's difficult because she turns nine during this. Cream. Um, Fuck it, I'm saying eight. Beans into a saucepan. Bring to a boy. Uh, on second thought, never mind. That's only gonna make you hungrier. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would be eight. Here you go. About all they could have. Really smart move of making a character age during the apocalypse and not. I, go for it. Good move. Makes it a little harder to figure out the timeline, but not too bad. So I'm gonna say maybe eight years. Which make AJ what? <laughs> Six? Yes, motherfucker. She's 17, dumbass. I think she's 17. I, don't, I have no idea how old these fucking characters are anymore. But Jesus fucking Christ, I'm an adult now. Oh my god. Fucking why? I didn't even think about that. Too much shit's been happening in this season, okay? I barely comprehended she was going through puberty in the last one. Fucking A. And she's 40 now! She's like, because she supposedly survived? Because there's, because I think the main writer, Robert Kirkman, actually confirmed Clementine survives to the end of The Walking Dead, so. That's true, that means Clementine's 40 years old. Goddamn. And this game is actually the f after the main book timeline. What's in between it? Rick is dead. Carl's alone. You don't know what the some happened in between that and then twenty five years are gonna pass on. So yeah, we. So if there is another game in this franchise. You bet your ass it's gonna be AJ's fucking storyline. Which holy hell, he'd be thirty two by that point. What the fuck? Thirty one math. <laughs> that's that's fucky. Water too. It was 25 years, wasn't it? Well, it was enough for a um, 14 year old to grow a fucking beard, beer, beer, and have a kid. If that's any fucking thing. All right. Flying food. That's kind of the goal. That's the the goal for the majority of the game. All right.
But I'm talking about like this. Imagine like being able to play season one like this and, and with this look. I mean, with Definitive Edition, they kind of already know what the world's going to look like. So if you make it look like with those characters and models, that's all you have to do. You literally, you have majority of the game ready, ready and rendered. You just got to make the character models and the gameplay like this now. Except this. I mean, you can actually take this part out. So there's really no... There kind of is a point where you use a melee weapon, but it's more in like a it's couple Still quick there. moments. Still here. No bites. Next, we get in there. Okay, I think uh, the deer heads go over here. Yeah, I just or buck really. Hmm, interesting. And how Clementine gets this in her backpack makes no sense. Don't don't think about it too hard. Just just don't. It remember some things are a video game. Yeah, they can, they can fictionalize a little. Oh man, there it is the train. I'm just saying, like imagine like the reimagining of you know those seats. That would be amazing. Of season three, and just, I think our reimagining is in, in in time. I mean, two years, you know, for for ten. I mean, two years, ten years, ten years, season one. Another year and a half, you get season three, season two, season three. Uh, don't do anything with season four. Just re you don't even have to re-release that. Actually, you might have to. Yeah, actually. Inside a new place. Ch check, find somewhere to hide, find a way out. Uh, find a way out. Okay. That's right. Okay, actually, go back and maybe update season four to, or just release it in a big collection, and also refix that intro so you can get the Wellington ending. Because it's not that hard to add Clem with a gunshot wound to her face. That's all you get with the Wellington ending. Just add that little character model change. That's difficult, isn't it? Difficult, ain't it? So yeah. They're practically saying they're retconning season four. No, they can't. Or season two ending. So no matter what, is it, did well, it didn't even happen. Now they, they need to go back and fix that. That's one of the main my main issues because people who got the Wellington ending got that fucking Kenny ending that everyone hated. So thanks, Security. Skybound, and I'm blaming Skybound for this because they can change that now. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find Everyone's hungry, Clem. I promise. Enter the ticket booth. Too small to crawl through. Well, for me. See anything? Looks you weren't like so long ago, Clem. Could still be edible. One of us might be able to fit through there. Is that the only way in? There's a door. I'm assuming we can get get. Let's be smart. That's uh, my plan. That's right. Okay, so the door is locked. That's about fucking right. That's a big ass piece of paper. This is what we wanted. Mm. Oh, poison. Great. Poison. Can y'all just shoot yourselves in the head? Hands in their own home. Well, that reminds me of a. Uh, we'll see. That just reminds me of a uh, season one a little bit. Uh, when we were looking for Clementine that's during that house, that's what it reminds me of. The key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark. In We should kill the monsters. They're not people. Well, 
they used to be people. And as people, they ask to be left alone. True. So what's best? Do you wonder what option you're supposed to take? Clearly. Jay, Come on. Your help on this one. In there? To know if there's food in Gee, I wonder what it, it was clearly a sign. Just hey, make the, this decision, not the other decision. Come on, they fly off fucking okay. sick. You know, I wonder if uh, HA remembers Kenny because I mean, he must, right? No, I just he was two. And what's the age of developer memories? I think like three or something like that. If you don't remember Kenny, god damn it. <laughs> That's depressing. Yeah, or David. Or David. Does he remember David? Never met Javi. Definitely doesn't remember. Damn, that's sad as hell. He, he doesn't know any of our group. Everyone we've been with, he doesn't know. Big ass ca cachet of food? Please? Something we're out there? Okay. Livable. Can we stay here? Okay, maybe. Let's see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. Majority of people are dead. Monsters. A lot of people left. There aren't that many people left, kiddo. Until we get to Alexandria. Once we get the, a fucking billions. So Until we get to Alexandria, where uh, it's Jesus fuck. Once we get there, it's like hundred thousand, hundred thousand. Just a few. I don't know how many. Remember what we said? A lot of fucking people though. And then there's Commonwealth, no, fifty thousand. Never hesitate. Never hesitate. I was aiming for the head. head. So you kill a walker and human. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something. Actually, hope so. I've heard some stories and. From family, actually, about someone who tried to commit suicide and used a gun, and it actually, and the bullet went around their head. I have no idea how the fuck it happened, but it was. Fuck is right. Watch the swears. Hey, watch the swears. When you're older. <laughs> I'm in shoot. Oh bullshit. Look. Something under here. You know what's funny? Uh, Clementine, and yeah. you know, said that when she was you know, younger, and uh, she swears like me. <laughs> swears like a fucking sailor. I think I put like five, or six, or seven fucks in this video by now, and I just added one. That's a lot of stuff. That was a that was a great yeah, sentence. It is. Much. Oh, dear fuck. AJ. Take the food to go. I mean, how much of it is destroyed? I mean, I'm probably a good chunk, but I mean, just. Grab the food and put some in your backpack, maybe five or six cans and go. And we're so lucky that the canned food's a thing. Yeah, we really need to find a place so we can start growing food. We Fuck, we're getting low on that. Okay, I think I may have accidentally made a goddamn prediction. Not intentionally, but I completely predicted. That we're gonna play is AJ by the end of this game. Because I remember when I was first playing, I said, Holy shit, we're gonna play as AJ now? You know, that's epic. That's epic. Epic, and, uh, at the end of the season, we fucking play as AJ at the end of it. It's weird. But I, I, I unconsciously knew. Or, that's not, no, that's not the word. For it. You're not biting me, you asshole. You dick. I was motherfucker. I was. I couldn't just kick it. I was plenty of way. You were on the ground. This is gonna be a great one. This season, you will actually die more often than not. Actually, now think about it. Be my eyes while I 
Okay. I swear, he was... Oh, whatever. Yeah, this one's actually honestly the most... Um, they definitely moved away from the point and click, which is good. Yeah, the point and click was getting a little old by Season 3. There we go. Okay, these guys don't seem nowhere near as decayed as they were in Season 3. Is it just me? Like, Season 3 looked like they were more decayed, and look, they still looked very decayed. But I don't know. I don't know, it's just strange to me. Ah, oh, fuck. Grab the key? God damn it. The hell was that? Oh, shit. Okay, that. Okay, I didn't. I told you all about that, but they did also go back a little bit back to first person, like they did with season one. Fuck you. God damn it. Oh shit. Maybe it's just time to say fuck the car, because it, it, it ain't gonna happen. Okay, I think it's just time to ditch the car, because you're going through this much hell. It's time just to ditch the car at this point. Alright, just make a run for it. Fuck. Shit. And that is how they all died. That was the real ending of season four. It, it, it was very the shortest season and definitely, I mean, damn. I think the extra four is the dreams. Go help him take him, who are you? And also, they did bring one thing back from a show that I wasn't a fan of. They brought back the intros from the intros of season um, from Michonne, and I don't know why they did that. It, it, it kind of is like why? Yeah, this. They brought this back. I don't know why they did it. I get it. You wanted it to make it look. Stylish, is that, I guess, but... But what's wrong with season... with how it went before? It worked well, didn't it? You actually got through the episode faster and you didn't feel like you were forced to go through so, something every fucking minute. Sometimes I don't know this is what just like a minor complaint. It doesn't hurt season 4 at all, but... I don't know, it, does, it doesn't make it look, feel like a... It, it, they did it, they finally made it feel like a game, but they did and they had this, and it, like, it was like a fucking TV show. Just one of my major issues with <laughs> season four. I'm not saying it's bad, but there are moments where I, there's clear issues, like, James as a character. A little too late to bring one of him in, uh, you know. A little too late to bring him in. You know, Whisper, yeah, they're dead. They're dead. I, I'm sorry, but at this time, they're dead. They're useless. Their story arc is over. Two, Lily gets a horrible storyline in this game. It was clear it should have been an optional redemption. They took it away from me. So, I have I still have complaints for the season, but it's better than season three by a goddamn mile. Because Clem is the playable character again, and I don't really know why they ever... They didn't pull, you know, they should have, like, this is how I wish Season 3 went. This is the gameplay I wish Season 3 went to. 
Because we're trying to go that way in Season 3, but I think it would have worked better if it was. And you actually alternate... In, in certain parts of an episode, you actually had to alternate between them. You know, like certain segments Clementine could do, certain segments Javi could do. You know, but when you first meet, you play as a hobby for maybe the first half, Clementine's the second, at the end of the episode, they meet up. What is this place? And then, you know, the rest of the season goes on as normal. You know, like, you see a little bit of Clementine's backstory, and you see a bit of Javi's backstory. Like, what's been happening with them, what's been going on. I think that would have been a good beginner. Cause, I mean, they kind of hint, they kind of did a little in season three, but that would have worked a little better now I think about it. And, it, and they play it like this, because this would have been a good... No, it doesn't feel like a point and click. It's moving around and actually doing something. Have a look at it. I mean, I can totally see season, and, and like I said, I can see season one being played like this. Like, I, I really do see you playing as Lee, and it'd be such a fucking mind fuck playing as that Lee at the end of this. It's gonna be like, what the hell? Am I playing season one? But, but with the environments of the definitive edition, it really would have worked. Said, so do something with that lighting. The lighting hurts season, the definitive edition a bit. Uh, that's her point. Arm will stay where you are, sure yourself. Don't move. Stay where you are. Don't turn around. Put down the knife. Let you do the same. Who the fuck are you? We're not gonna hurt you. We got your boy, he's safe. <laughs> I'll take you to see him. I believe it when I see him while your weapons first. Just put down. How about a show of good faith? You lower yours, I'll lower mine. Fair enough, right? Okay. Don't fucking pull a fast one on me, please. You have a long range weapon, and have a close range. Who do you think's gonna win this fight? You have an arrow, you have a bow and arrow, and I got a fucking knife. Yeah, I'm gonna win this one. See? We're not gonna hurt you. Okay, where the hell did you put that arrow? Whatever. I love how I completely predicted him being an asshole. <laughs> it's so easy to tell at this point, but I've played four fucking games. It's like, yep, he's gonna be the asshole, he's gonna die. It kind of became a cliche. It's like, it's walking dead cliche, honestly. God damn it. Our Sansa, he was sorry she freaked me out. No need to explain. Like you said. I was in pretty rough shape. Yeah, to say the least. Must have been tough out there. Anyone else picking up season one vibes? Car crash. Car crash trying to take care of a kid. Lily being an asshole. Eh, there's a lot of similarities, but with something new. So if, if this was kind of like a remake of season one a little. That's actually what season four feels like. A bit of a remake. That's what it feels like to me. It's it's just a it's a bit of a remake, not a full blown, but there's similarities.
And that will be it for this episode of The Walking Dead, the final season. And, man, the, just the beginning of this feels like I actually went through more things than I ever did in season three. Because <laughs> one of the, because I'm, I'm still going to complain about season three a little. One of the things about season three is that nothing happened until the second act. And then it caught, kicked off here. Get a fucking car crash. Walkers go everywhere. Bombs. Shit goes down in the first five minutes. Damn. You know, but now where we are in this is things are going to slow down a little. We're going to meet the characters. We're still in the early phase. 30 minutes in, but we're still in the early phase of this season. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Walking Dead. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell for more Walking Dead videos for a few days. Actually, shit, maybe a month. I, I don't know. I, I think this might go on for four parts. And by the way, did I say 31? <laughs> Look at the AJs in the... Age, I think I did. He's 34. I don't know where the fuck I came up with 31. My brain, I, I don't, I'm stupid. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget. I already said that shit. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Goddamn, what's in this? <laughs> I'm great at outros. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye.